Another option that Mr. Viewer supports is the selection of an area. Within that area, it is possible to display the colors corresponding to the area where you can see the minimum, maximum range and mean of the values of the area. And you can also bring up a histogram of the area and a vector scope of the area. This can be changed accordingly or you can select all the, the frame. Mr. Viewer supports caching preloading. In the cache, if you select preload cache, this will load the image sequence in the background. Just like that. So when you go to play it, it's already loaded. Besides this, you can select different channels of the image, like the point. Normal or some other feature like in direct diffuse. One feature of Mr. Viewer that is not apparent is scrubbing. A scrubbing allows you to view the clip back and forth to check the sync audio or the animation. In this case, we have a movie file and we press the shift key and with the mouse moving right and left we can go back and forth between different frames to exit the uh, the scrubbing mode we press control or some other key and we're done in this tutorial we'll see how Mr. Viewer supports the CTL transforms. Here we have a log, a log image which we are going to turn it into a linear image. We select the log image and we select the, re the rendering transform, the reference rendering transform and we apply to the monitor uh, another display transform. When we hit the loot, we see uh, it calculates for a second and then it shows you the result. But let's say you want to change the colors to simulate some grading. We can go to the to the terminal and apply a transform. We convert the transform a cube a 3DL cube transform into a CTL script which we place in the CTL directory of MRViewer. Now we can pick it up as look more transforms and we see the aspect one there and we select it and then we see how the result is and this is the color transform it's as simple as that thanks for watching